Okay, we are. I got the recording in progress, and now we're. Uh, there we go. We're going on to Zoom here. Should be there pretty quickly with the uh, Facebook. Yep, I think we're there. Yep, we're on. Okay, hello everybody. How are you? Oh, we have a whole bunch of people waiting to go here, and uh, uh, let me see here. Oh, I have my new look. My new my new. Everybody, let's try Celsius. Let me do a commercial for Celsius. How do I hold this up straight? There. Yeah. <clears throat> this is actually very good. There are two different varieties of it, and uh, I'm. Uh, mm, mm, mm. There, that's quenching. Okay. Let me get everybody on here. Then I got to talk to them about something. Here we go. Uh, we got uh, Charlene Solis and Charlie Wallace and John Ewing and Francine Witt and uh, um, Paul Levin. And uh, let's see here. Oh, and Andrew Deutsch. And that's right. Oh, and John Ewing. And uh, did I say Charlie Wallace already? Okay. Yep. Yeah. You can say it twice. Hmm? You can say it twice. <laughs> oh, okay. I uh, uh, I have a, a, a Marjorie is a, a waiting for Costco. She'll be here soon. She'll be joining us. We will not be joining. You know who we're missing today? Yes. Ed Berger. Ed Berger, because he's away this week, he told us. So I'll say, that's right. <laughs> well, we should all say it. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, it's talk a, like it. Talk like Edward Day. Yeah, I have a, <laughs> I have a bit of a bad. Oh yes, um, uh, Paula. Yeah, I just want to say I have to leave a little bit early today, so I won't get to hear you say that's right. I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, <laughs> I, have to, I have to leave a little bit early. Hi, March. Can we can we see your hall pass? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> Detention. I got to check in on uh, on uh, Brian Neary because I haven't heard from him in a week. And he posted over the weekend. He's posting like, all the right. time. Yeah, he's all right. He's okay. I wonder why he hasn't been calling. Does he hate Work. him? Yeah, yeah, he said he hates you. He, he told me he hates you. So yeah, that's that's what. <laughs> <it was. laughs> I'm I'm assuming he's pretty busy with projects at work. Yeah. yeah Really anyway, good. I got a, I got a, um, I got to bring something up to you. You know, this thing goes out over Facebook. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't gotta go out over YouTube because I already have stuff that goes out over YouTube, and I don't want to complicate things. Wow. You probably put it on YouTube Live, and I may be trying that. Here's the reason why: these outfits like Facebook and YouTube are getting a little too Nazi-like in trying to be politically correct, okay? Mm -hmm. So I got a thing from Bobby Slayton I thought was hilarious, okay? The ram. And it was a picture of a ram, mm -hmm. and he's missing one horn. And it says, long story... But I got to tell you, I hate Jews. I don't like Jews. <laughs> now, how many here get that joke? Yeah, got it. I get the joke, but yeah. Yeah. All, all the Jews got it. Got it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So far, so far as I know, it's a good yeah. joke. Oh, <laughs> good one. Good. Good one. Good one. <laughs> good one. <laughs> so they send me a thing saying you have to remove this. It doesn't comply with our policies. It's hateful speech. Well, yeah. Really? Really? Just because the word one horn is hateful speech? No, I think probably the word... fact that you said Jews. Yeah, yeah the word that's, Jew what, that's right. Probably, right. You know, right. Wait, 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 I can look it up. It said, uh, I I don't like, this is why I don't like Jews or something like yeah. that. Didn't even use the word yeah. hate, okay? Yeah. So I put it up, so they wanted, they took it down. You can't do that. It's bad. And I'm yeah. thinking to myself, what's bad about it? You know, I put it up because I thought it was hilarious. It's just something that kosher about. 
Uh, yeah, there's something not kosher <laughs> about it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. See, the, 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 the thing is that if you're Jewish, you can tell a joke and it's funny. But, uh, you know, like, I don't know what to do about about the, um, you know, the, the standards that we're, that, that we're supposed to have. Uh, it's like all the wrong things get corrected, you know, and, and, and lies are out there and nobody pulls them down and well, my, what, my right question, there. nobody pulls them down. My question is this. Let's just say I hate Jews, which I don't, obviously, because I'm Jewish. And now because I use the word hate, probably their algorithms will find that in this yeah. show and yep. cancel it. Okay. See, but that's see, but that's the problem because the innuendos don't get pulled down. Well, suppose somebody. I'm I'm asking you this this um just a completely mental question. Suppose somebody does dislike Jews, and they want to put something up saying I dislike Jews or I don't like Jews, like this one did. Uh, shouldn't they be allowed to say that? I mean. You don't have to accept their free their their free use of free speech, but do we censor them for that? The, the the challenge isn't that it's that it's a private company who gets to decide. Yeah, it's not you don't have First Amendment rights on a. That's on, right. That's right. Yeah. You're absolutely so if right. That's, if yeah. that's what they want to filter, they get the right. It doesn't make and it right. It may and if if it starts losing them revenue, which is what they're here for. They're not here to change well, the world. They're here there to make to, money. I was I, so it said if you disagree with this, go here. So I yes. went there, and all it allows me to say is I protest. It doesn't tell them why. Yeah, I would like to explain to you <laughs> why this is okay. There's no mm. place for that. And then they send me thing back saying we've looked at it. It's still bad. Yeah, yeah. that's because you're anti-Semitic. Okay, you don't understand a good Jew joke. And one that <laughs> isn't negative, you know? I mean, if I were a ram, I'd be pissed off too, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, I remember when there was a lot a lot of uh, censorship on television and it, it always used to annoy me that they did not, they didn't, they didn't censor out, it didn't, they, it, they didn't eliminate violence, only sex. Only sex, only sex, right. <laughs> Wait, those are different things? <laughs> I mean, I just, I just, this got me so mad. I was going to just not even do this show anymore. I don't want to do anything for Facebook. Uh, but uh, th then the next day I get a thing from YouTube. This is from a posting of a video from 2018. Oh, <laughs> How many years ago is that? Six years ago. <laughs> this is unacceptable by our medical policies. And it medical? was an interview I did with my ex-wife, Ronnie. My, you know, my by now dead ex-wife, Ronnie. My ex-ex-wife, Ronnie. <laughs> what, uh, what were you talking and about? We were talking about her medical condition. Yeah. So <laughs> I... I protested that one, and I guess they actually had a human go listen to it, and it was okay. Six <laughs> years later. Six days in a row, and I'm going, come on, you know, I mean, isn't this sort of an electronic Hyde Park where you can say anything you want to? And I thought that thing of the of the, uh, of the the ram was hilarious, you know? In this, in this political age, Alex, there's groups that will team up to complain about someone to try to cancel them. So if you if you said if you if you like said something negative to a specific group that they have 20 members and they have 10 family members each, you could end up with 200, 300 people in less than an hour. And the initial response is take it down before they even mm -hmm. investigate. And then they don't investigate because they don't have the manpower to do it. Yeah. No, all they have are algorithms. That's yeah. uh, and when they say, well, we will go check it again. Uh, I believe YouTube uses a human being. I do believe awesome. that. I because in my long relationship with them, a lot of times they have said we can't run this or you can't run because it's been demonetized or whatever. And I protested it. And ninety nine times out of a hundred that I protested it, I turned out to be right, and they reinstated the thing. You know, it, so they there, had a human being doing that. There was a trend on the, the, you know, those little short reels that are on Facebook where someone would put in a one 
half of a second flash of somebody naked in the middle of a video to get people to to click on it, to pause, to try to see, you know, mm. to, to, to do that. And it's completely against Facebook policy, but their algorithms can't see that little flash of video. Well, they can't see the flash. So, okay. so it was going on for months where you'd be watching yeah. something that you want to watch and all of a sudden... Uh, just you, and you, you, you couldn't mentally say exactly what you saw, but you knew it was a naked picture because it was just so flat, so yeah. fast. Well, I don't know about this. They don't let you use music, right? That you haven't paid for, right? right. It's got to be unlicensed. It's got to be licensed. Yeah. I have heard that if you take that piece of music, and run it through your computer, which you can do, and change the pitch on it mm. by ten percent. Mm. algorithms won't be able to catch it. Wow. Mm. Yeah, there's certain ways of reprocessing it, but but when it gets caught, you could get literally fined. As I, in, I could. As or, in, yeah. as in. I mean, they. What happens is they. I don't know of anybody that's really. They tried to sue some people back in the old days of Napster. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. And they tried to go after people, but they found it was kind of impossible. Well, it's bad for the brand. Huh? Because you, it, they, they they did win it. They went after some like teenagers for millions of dollars and yeah, won. They had some and and, and and it, it people hated them for doing it. Oh, oh, it was not only a teenager; it was mm -hmm. a teenager who was doing it on his mother's account. Yeah, and his mother got sued for like three hundred million dollars or something. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, well, they still haven't canceled my space laser. So. I I understand copyright. <laughs> I understand copyright. I don't understand copyright where I'm doing programs that really don't make any money, right? I'm not making a profit off of this. I'm not doing this for profit. So if I play a song, how am I using their music for profit? You know, but I just can't use it. Look, well, let's, I'm going to argue that one, okay? Because I to check my own material as well. So you could be running for question. running for political office, Alex. I do have to question uh, uh, YouTube going after my dead ex-wife for what she said about her cancer as violating their medical policies. You know, maybe, maybe she tried to cancel you from beyond the grave. I hear, I hear yeah. it's so big now. Even the dead have access to it. And then, then uh, I, um, uh, but then the thing with uh, Facebook. That, that's unconscionable, you know? I mean, mm. come on. You know, d don't you get the joke? Of course you don't. You're not a Jew. This wasn't meant for you. So how do you, dare you tell me what's anti-Semitic and not anti-Semitic? You got to stop blowing your horn there, Alan. That's right. That's right. In case people don't understand the joke, the reason they... Ram was pissed off at Jews because he didn't have a horn was primarily because uh, they use a, 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 a Ram's horn on which holiday? Uh, Rosh Hashanah. Huh? Rosh Hashanah. No, I think it, Yom Kippur. They do it at no. the... Rosh Hashanah! I think they do it all the time, don't they? It's well, probably they probably both. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so they use a ram's horn. They blow a ram's horn. So this ram was pissed off at Jews because they only had one horn. Thank you very much. That's the joke. Go fuck yourself. How is that oh. anti-Semitic, though? Huh? Because it says he doesn't like Jews. It's, it's, it's right, yeah. like anti-Semitic because uh, they, they are making assumptions about Jews that they shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't the, the, think the it's person, reason. It's not reason. It's hey, just, listen, it's I don't, but someone hold on, so, because they will get their attention. Someone who doesn't know what a shofar the the horn yeah. is would read it and say, "This right. guy just said he doesn't like Jews. He's anti-Semitic." Right. Because right. they didn't understand right. the context of the horn. Exactly. Exactly. So it was yeah. what you're saying is absolutely on track. They did right. it because they're not Jewish. They didn't get the joke because. They don't. They don't. They don't get the, the the premise. I have heard, and it's just my opinion, that algorithms are not Jewish. <laughs> no, Al algorithm is from G G a different country. Al 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 oh, he's been algorithm. around. He's been around a long time, but he doesn't hang out with Jews. I see. I, I'm glad. Yeah, I, don't Bob, let him Bob, in. Bob Grithum is Bob Grithum, His brother is a real anti-Semitic one. <laughs> they need an algorithm. Steen is what they need.
That'll look for it. <laughs> Algorithm Berg. Yes, there you go. Hey, maybe we should move the show to uh, MySpace. You know that, that MySpace. Yeah, I hear that's the new up and coming thing. <laughs> yeah. It's it's no prodigy, but you know. Yeah. Maybe, well, maybe I'll move it over to Trump's thing. What what's his a, a, AOL? Social. Truth social. Why social? Yeah. Truth Did you, social. There was an interesting article you'd like about that. Ninety percent of the ads on there are scams. That there's uh, there's uh, there's dozens and dozens of complaints with the FTC about people who've been scammed by ads on Truth Social. So the the irony of the Truth Place is the best place in America to get scammed is kind of fun. I don't understand how it can be that many because fifty uh, percent of them are my pillow. Uh, yeah. well, well, there, well, well, in in honor of what's next for Trump, my pillow now has these new prison pillows. Because there's no, there's no, it's all hard seating in prison. You got to bring your own cushion. So they now have the my prison pillow. Yeah, a little, yeah. Your mouth to God's ear. Another well, little joke. I, I just read something that will really piss you off. Ron DeSantis, the governor. That's of, enough. That's enough right there. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very right much, there. Ron yeah. DeSantis. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, Ron DeSantis has filed criminal charges against a TV station. We're running ads uh, uh, for people to go out and vote for the abortion uh, measure they have on the ballot there. What? Yes. What do we do about that? Because it's pro-abortion, and therefore you can't run an ad on TV stations in Florida that are pro-abortion that's criminal. I mean, it'll but never... You run up your anti-abortion and wanted people to vote against it. Well, maybe you haven't tried that one. Oh. You know. You know what I hate about all this? I was mentioning, mentioning this to Marjorie, who happens to be my wife, as you might or might not. <laughs> She's the old bag with the curly hair. Anyway, uh, she uh, I told her yesterday, what bothers me about these ads on television now, because we were up to our ass in them for politics, you notice none of them say what party the person represents? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, even if it's a Democrat, it doesn't say, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, for so-and-so, Democratic candidate for. Didn't they used to put the name of the party on the ads? Oh, yeah. Yes. I thought it was a requirement at one point, but uh -huh. I don't know. You thought, I I thought know, it was a requirement. They were doing that here in Texas, but I didn't know they were doing that around the country. No, they're doing it around the country. Wow. Here, we're up to our ass in these uh, ads for Congress and yeah. so on. Yeah. And they don't say where the people are, what, what, what they're on, what side, what side they're on. And the thing is that when you don't have that information, you really don't know where their sympathies lie because they're all lying in those ads. You know, um, it's weird. It's really weird. Weird time of year. Weird time of year. But Anyway, so I, I hate Facebook now. I hate always have hated YouTube. Um, and there's nothing left. There is nothing left. As you say, MySpace. I think it's still <laughs> around, actually. It is. Yeah, it's still out there. Can you post videos on MySpace? I don't know. That's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if I can, I'll move the show over to MySpace. <laughs> funny. I, funny. I, I really don't think so. I think it's just bands that have yeah, their stuff yeah. on there. MySpace videos right here. Watch videos. Upload a video. Yeah, you absolutely can. Post them, post them on Rumble, the right-wing YouTube. <laughs> you, you and Don Jr. can have shows right next to each other on the screen. Yeah. So how's everybody doing? Good. Everybody's fine out yeah, here. Fine. No problem? <clears throat> Wait a minute, you live in Texas. What do you mean, no problem? I don't have any personal problems. I'm not going to get pregnant anytime soon. You know. <laughs> Lucky you. Uh, 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 do you tell people your politics in your neighborhood, or do you just avoid it? Anybody that asks is going to get the right answer. I'm going to tell them the truth. I, I don't go out there and shout. I don't have any signs, Harris Wall signs around my apartment or on my car. Is that why it looks like you're alone most of the time in your apartment? Yeah. 
I mean, I know my neighbor across the way there, but we don't talk politics. We talk about the Cowboys or, or football. You know? Now, you live where? I, I live in Austin, Texas. In, in Austin. Austin. That's not a bad city, by the way, politically. Yeah. Because it's a college town, and college towns are usually yep. very liberal. Yep. Now, have you always lived in Austin, or did you just move back to Texas and decide on Austin? Well, I mean, I lived, lived outside Phoenix for a year and a half, and then I, I've, I've lived in the suburbs of Austin. But I will, uh, since 1974, I've, I've spent most of that time, you know, 45, 46 of those years inside the city limits of Austin. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. It, I, I've been there. It's a very nice city. It's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, what's also interesting, I've been to, uh, where is it? Where, where's the Alamo, San Antonio? San Antonio, yeah. Yeah, I went to San Antonio a few years ago. And if I didn't live in Austin, I'd be living in San Antonio. There's that whole area where they've got the river going through the city. Oh, You've got all yeah. the restaurants along the river. Yep. yep. Really nice. Really. Didn't you work in didn't you work in Texas at one point? Alex? Yeah, I worked in Houston. Yeah, he was in Houston. Yeah, I worked in Houston for two years. I loved Houston. But that was back in the old days when they had things like the beer lounges. And um it was just a whole different kind of feel to Texas. It was still pretty much a, a hip gun toting town. You know. What what was the Alamo? I don't remember. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a draft house movie theater, you know. <laughs> yeah, the, but the the uh, the Alamo is still there, you know. Been there many times. Yeah. Oh, you oh, you have. Okay. Yeah, my kids. We used to visit down. Right, San there. Antonio is a pretty cool town. Yeah. Yeah. A little more, a little more left, a little more right wing, a little more right wing than uh, than Austin, but Austin. it's definitely not right wing. <laughs> well, I'm Austin. trying to figure out. I guess, I guess Houston was the hotbed of uh, right wing. Houston's more conservative than Austin or Dallas or San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The data, the data shows Texas has the potential to to turn in this election if if, if all of the women pressing the vote. We'd probably be a, a, a blue state. Yeah. If if all the women that are upset, rightfully upset about the current situation, come out and vote, uh, Texas could could easily be switched blue in this election. I think Hopefully. that this this uh, this election is either going to be won or lost on that one issue. Mm. I think it's, that is the issue. I, I they'd like to make immigration the issue, but it's not really. There, there are a lot of women that are treated like property by their MAGA husbands who know yeah. that when they're behind the curtain, they, he doesn't have a choice what they vote. Right. And I think that that's yeah. going to be a, a major factor in in adding two or three points to the opposite side at the end of this nonsensical election. Something polls can't read. Yeah, it's the same yeah. as the, the polls aren't looking at all of the new regis registered voters. And if you look at the party affiliations, the only place that's sort of half and half is Pennsylvania. But in Ohio, I think it's 70 percent of the people who've recently re uh, registered are female and they're Democrats. They've registered as Democrats in the election. So there's there's a whole bunch of stuff that the polls aren't aren't touching. I it's, can't. It's somewhat. I'm not I'm not saying it's a shoe. It's a you know, it's a it's going to happen. But it sure seems to be trending that way. Since lots of lots equally of represented here on this show as opposed to the other show. Uh, wouldn't you women agree that there's no reason why I could see a woman voting for anybody who wasn't for, you know, um, abortion rights? Uh, I just don't can't imagine a woman the, voting for that. The religious Again, women so. are not. Huh? Yeah. Religious, religious women types. Don't believe uh -oh. that, that abortion should be legal, and so they'll they may vote the other way. They have so many other reasons to not vote for him, yeah. you know. But I think um, that rapey that rapey part probably helps uh, the them not want to vote for him. It turns it turns I don't know if you knew this, Len, but most women don't want to be groped. 
uh, and, and forcefully attacked by men. I, I know it's it's odd, but it's true. I they don't. They loved it. Not that I speak for not that I speak for women, but, but it I just seems to me through it. my research that uh, they don't like it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to do more research, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't. I can't afford it. I have no no nerve feelings in my face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's... I apologize for that one. Yeah, but I think uh, I think the election uh, for the for the for the left wing right wingers may be lost on that one issue. You know, why is nobody it, talking about the fact that he's issue. a goddamn felon? What? I mean, the guy's a felon. I know. The guy's the guy's a felon. Why are we not talking about that? Well, here, here's the thing, Len. Have anyone get them to agree to read the filing, the, <clears> the <throat> one that was just released by, by Judge Chutkin? I read the yeah. whole thing. It is so damning. And none of the testimony are from people who were not part of his organization. Right. The, right. He only gets the best people, and they all turn on him because he's a dirtbag. He yeah. tried to overthrow it three times, not once, yeah. three. Mm -hmm. And it's clearly documented. So if any anytime somebody gives me this, I said, well, just read read the court filings. These are all under oath. These aren't some guy who's not, not going to be held to because he can lie. These mm -hmm. are people who go to prison if they lie. Just, just read it and then tell me what you think. Mm. So what so, do people do in their heads to to, to, dis to, to dismiss all of the evidence and, and say, you know, and and drink the Kool Aid and ask ask the members of any cult why they believe yeah. the nonsense of their yeah. leader. Well, ask I, ask I, a Scientologist uh, I, about I Zenu. Think, I wish that were the easy answer, but I don't think that's the easy answer. I think the the hard answer is that they believe in Trump because they felt their lives were better when he was president. Now the fact is. Their lives weren't better when he was president, but they have short memories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? and, and they were told it was. So they believe where I don't think anybody's going to be anything but a one term president because people are dissatisfied with everything. You know, and they don't realize that changing presidents in midstream doesn't help at the issue any. You know? There's Let's, a lag too. There's always a lag, you know, yeah. into the next administration for two or three years. You're based things that are happening are based on the prior administrations. So, I'd say the first two years of of a new presidency are yeah. all based on what the former president set in motion. Yep. Yeah. You know, and and you know the fact is that okay, you want your economy oh, cool. well. I got news for you: the economy is better. You know, I, 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 you want better I, better job ability, ability to get a job. Employment is up. You know, all the all the measurements are good. The only thing that isn't good are the greedy bastards who suddenly decide what they're going to sell their meat for, and there's yeah. chicken for, and their milk for. And I the, blame a lot of that on the about pandemic. That. If if I if I have a gallon of milk and I want to sell it for a hundred dollars, I can do it. You know, the well, pandemic it, it looked, caused that. There, there was a lot of pent up demand, and so prices went up. I mean, that's yeah. well, look, look at look at the look at the port strike threat that just happened, Alex. In terms right. of what's really going on, the the head of the the union bamboozled his people into agreeing to a strike because he's a huge Trump supporter and he wanted to sabotage the economy. Sure, but fortunately, the the administration got involved, and the port workers in Baltimore who been out of work because that bridge got hit and crashed right. and they were they were unpaid for a period of time said we can't afford to do this mm -hmm. and we thwarted the October surprise the biggest of, of multiples they're going to come up with but yep. but if you're if you're a supporter and a believer it's these the, the guy who's anti union was supporting the strike <laughs> because it was going to damage the economy and hopefully get him elected none of it makes sense it's 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 just this constant bombardment of bullshit to the point that you can't smell anymore and and if you're if you're a believer, you're stuck in that cult mentality. Well, somebody has to know he must be the the the, the notion of truth, and they're they're programmed to believe it. But when when the actual data and facts are put in front of somebody, you show somebody a blue sky and say it's blue, but their cult leader says it's red. They will see red. Yeah. That's that's it's it's the programming that's been going on for almost almost ten years now, and it's sad. And, and yeah, once you know, once the once the bubble bursts. 
we're going to see a mental health situation with these ex supporters who's who's finds out their emperor has no new no has no clothes that's going to be devastating to all of us when these people finally wake up and realize what's been going on and how they were fooled it's going to be ugly i mean we have we have these new scams where I, I want to get money from Iran. So I, I sell $100,000 watches that cost me $10. Now an Iranian can buy one. I can have that money and I'm not guilty of taking foreign money and I owe them a favor. There's mm-hmm. all of these, all one scam after another, after another, that's so obvious to anyone who's not part of the cult. If you're in it, oh no, people want to spend $100,000 because it's got his beautiful face on it. Are we talking about politics here? No. Yeah, this is crazy. We're, we're talking about cult cultism. Culture, yeah. We're talking about we're talking about social stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Uh, uh, I just think that these people are. I can't believe they are the way they are. I mean, it scares me. If you believe the polls, that almost fifty percent of the people still want him after all the information that's been given yeah. about him. Mm-hmm. You know, well, I could see maybe you don't want to vote for Kamala, or right? she's a she's a lefty. You don't want to vote for her, but you don't have to vote for Trump. You can go in there and pull all the other levers and leave that one blank, and it, you'll be able to register your vote, and he doesn't get a vote from you. Um, I I just think that I just I what's just just scares me about this country is that it's that close. Mm-hmm. I, I really mean, don't think it is. All the stuff against him, he should be so far behind he couldn't see the front anymore, you know? You, you know, Alex, the only thing that we know is true is no matter what the outcome is, he's going to protest and say, if he wins, he's going to say, well, I was ripped off. I should have won by uh, 10 million more votes. Mm-hmm. And if he loses, it was rigged and and they're going to be protesting. Protest. And their plan, their plan isn't to go after the capital this time. They're going to go after all the state capitals. Yeah. Mm. Yep. The security in state capitals has to be increased in every state that he loses. How do you know that? Because I know that. <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen I have. That. I have information. Mm. And still, all will be uh, peace and goodwill and love in uh, in Tim, in uh, Nevada, right, John? Pardon me, Alex. Everything will be right and good in Nevada, right? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I don't think Trump's going to do well here. No. Um, I wanted to say, too, you know, Kamala's going to be on 60 Minutes tonight yeah. at 8 o'clock. Tonight? Well, she's yeah. also yeah, going to be on Monday show. show and I can hardly Monday wait show. for that. Well, the questions are a little more deep than they have been in the past. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know. Up. You do know why Ed Berger's not here. He's on a mission to get Kamala. Ah. <laughs> I've got him. I've got him out there doing some work for us. Oh, he's God. Not, God. God. Yeah, he's he's doing voiceovers for the Lincoln Project. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do the audio book of uh, Project Twenty Twenty Five. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh. I miss Ed. He's not allowed to be off the show. Where is he? <laughs> Price is right. No. <laughs> I can't wait to see him on there. I hope he gets picked. That'd be fun. Me too. I, I really wish I knew somebody. Going else to the Price is Right, on. isn't he? Yeah, it's right now. Yeah, that's he's in the that's studio. Right when LA, yeah. Burger's weird. <laughs> oh, good way. In a good way. In, oh, in a good way, but he's weird. Hey, he's a character. I, I'm gonna go to the prices right. You just gotta <laughs> sign up, you know. <laughs> oh, he well, goes. He watches. Year. It goes once a year. You yeah. you can't tell me, Alex, that he wouldn't be an interesting guy to interview just to get his life story. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. I guess there's I, a backstory there that would blow us away. I guarantee you, he's an interesting guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably a trained killer in the in the Navy. <laughs> he, I, he could be a very interesting guy. You're right about that. Yeah, I don't think he's a master of ninjutsu, Len. <laughs> <clears throat> probably not. Yeah, I'm running out of my Celsius and I'm thirsty. Oh, wow. Yeah. Try some Fahrenheit. Oh, wife. Uh, I almost went drink. to work for the CIA. No. <laughs> mm. You want one, Alex? 
No, I'm fine. And I'll I'll get Charlie to go get me one. <laughs> so anybody seen anything good to watch on on tel on television or on the? We're I, was actually, I was actually nobody wants this. What on, on oh. Netflix? It's called hot, Nobody Wants This. Hot Rabbi. Oh. What did you yeah, What did you What did you think of it? What did you think of it? Well, I'm only about up to seven. But uh, episode seven, I, I thought there were like seven episodes and I was going to finish it last night, but there, apparently there are 10. Um, but see, I remember the guy who plays the hot rabbi mm -hmm. from the OC, which I started watching last year and I've watched it three times. I love the OC. It's mm -hmm. like I'm really, I have this thing about teen dramas. I just love them. And the OC is my favorite. And he's really funny, Adam Brody. He's very, very funny. Um, and nobody wants this. He's very funny, so I, I like it. I really like it. It's, it's, it's called what? Nobody wants this. Nobody. It's, wants it's a it's a rom com. It, it's a, yeah, yeah. a kind of like a meet cute. It's it's yeah. a it's right. a rabbi and and uh, and a, a shiksa. woman who's <laughs> not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get in trouble now. Oh, Shiksa. hey, wait, wait a minute for the uh, for the Facebook algorithm. The Shiksa <laughs> is a Jewish woman. Is a non-Jewish uh, hot woman usually. Hot woman. Is there any term for yeah. a non-Jewish man? Yes. I think Trump. Right? <laughs> no. uh, yeah. Uh, it's shagets. It's shagets. It's shagets. Right? 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 I've heard the term. Yeah. 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 Not that I've been so called. It's, called, a, good, it's yeah. a good show, though. Yeah. yeah. It is entertaining. Really? I'm, what's it called again so we can maybe try it out? Nobody wants this. Okay. It's on, uh, it's on Netflix. Yeah. Well, yours, Alex. Nobody wants. What do you mean? Yours, what do you mean? But the, but the, I, I will say that the stereotypes of of Jewish women are yeah. horrible. Right, right, <laughs> right. 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 They're like from Woody Allen days. Yes. yes. What on this yes. show? Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, on on the Netflix show. On the Netflix show. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but the script is very clever. It's it's a lot of fun. It's very good. Like good writing. It's very it's very well written. But Marjorie's Funny. not going to watch it because mm -hmm. she's is she no, doesn't want to watch anything. <laughs> you know, um, although See, we watch a movie. The other, I won't tell her what episode they play tennis, and then she'll watch. I keep <laughs> I keep getting stuck in a bad deal that I allow myself to get myself into. And Marjorie's involved in this, and in that I do reviews with Michael Snyder. Does anybody listen? Oh, oh, God! Oh, do you really still do? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? Why? And why do we and watch his reviews? Every week, Marjorie says to me when I do it with him. Every time I do it with him, she says, "Did he recommend anything?" <laughs> so he recommended this show. What was this? something Ridge? It was so bad. On oh, uh, the movie. It's awful. Netflix? Uh, yes. He recommended that. He says, one of the best movies I've seen all year. And we well, watched who's it. recommending it, Alex. And we, <laughs> and well, you, you ask, always ask me, did he recommend anything? Because everything he recommends that we watch is shit. <laughs> <laughs> why, do you, True. why do you ask me what he recommended? So you know what's going to be shit? Well, yes. I don't know what to avoid. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, anyway, we watched this thing because they said it was good. It's horrible, right? Uh, right, Andrew? Yeah, I, I didn't even get through it. It's the, You're talking about the one with the guy that's like an ex-military. It was like like stupid Rambo. Where he, yeah. He, he, he comes into a town and, and uh, they're corrupt and... He wants to bail his... Uh, he, yeah, they, bail. they stole his bail money and they killed his friend and yeah. The only thing the only thing that was missing was was him, you know, going out with a big hunting knife and wrapping a bandana and talking <laughs> talking with a bad Philly accent. Listen, that would have made it better. Yeah. Maybe it would have. You know. But I mean, this thing was terrible. It's just terrible. What's it called? R something Ridge? R Ruby Ridge or something? Yeah. 
I forget. I've seen the ads for it, but no. <laughs> yeah, don't wa don't watch it. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the cool thing is that the guy who was the lead finally earned enough money so he can go to acting school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but see, I don't know. Again, it's kind of like I, I don't understand why people, um, you know, um, vote for Trump, and I don't understand why he reviews movies and says they're so terrific, best thing I've seen this year. And then we watch him, and it sucks. <laughs> Just he's terrible. Been doing, he's been doing reviews for 40 years, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm loyal to him. He's been with he's me. he's still wearing the same jacket and the same hat. <laughs> but anyway, no, he's, he's been reviewing for me for years. I'm re on all the radio shows I've done, San Francisco and so on, I think he started with me. Oh God, that'd be 30 years ago, something like that. And um for a while I actually believed he knew what he was talking about, but it doesn't look like it now unless and then when I say to him, if I say to him this movie Ruby Ridge or whatever it was called was really sucked, he goes, Well, that's your opinion. Well, now it's <laughs> like it doesn't mine doesn't matter. One of his recommendations. What? That's not the first time we've watched one of his recommendations. And they all suck. Well, no, his other recommendations we only watched half of. We couldn't get all the way through. Oh my god! <laughs> like duh. Do you do you remember the Seinfeld when Elaine was attached to Vincent, the reviewer at the video store? Yeah, it was yeah. just and on the other night. It, yeah, and it turned it turned out that Vincent was a pimple faced fifteen yeah. year old that she had fallen yeah. in love with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Vincent. Oh, Vincent, Vincent, so deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, anyway. So um what else is new? What else is happening? Is there anybody see anything or watch anything that they I watched that new penguin. Yeah, what'd oh. you think? Yeah. It was all right. Okay. It wasn't great. He's terrific. He's terrific. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. are we mixing up good makeup and <clears throat> terrific? Uh, I mean the performances aren't bad, but the story is lame. I'm yeah. not probably not going to watch the rest of it. It was it was a, a, a an extension of the movie The Batman, mm -hmm. uh, and it picks up like five minutes mm -hmm. after the Batman ends, and uh, the Batman happens to be a very good Batman movie. You know, where they got back to basics. Who plays the Penguin? Um, Colin Farrell. I know. You wouldn't recognize the Unrecognizable. Right. Yeah, unrecognizable. Yeah. And walks with a limp, and he's really, you know, I think it's a great acting job because, uh, and I'm not saying because of the makeup. Nobody should think it's a great acting job because of the makeup, because that's the makeup guy. But the fact is, there's more to it than just that. He's acting. He's really acting and he's having to act while wearing all that makeup. They say it was so heavy and it was so bad that they had to, during a break, put him in an ice cold room wow. because otherwise the makeup started falling off of him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think he did it. I think he did a great job. I, you know, did you watch the Will Ferrell documentary "Traveling with His Trans Friend"? I want to watch it, but Marjorie doesn't want to watch it on your own, Alex. It's 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 okay. It's okay. It's, just it's, okay. it's yeah, not, I didn't. I mean, it, not, some not people right. thought it was so heartwarming, and otherwise, it just seemed contrived. It wasn't. It didn't do anything for me. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I, I, have, huh? I have a question though. You bring up about watching it, but Marjorie doesn't want to watch it. How does everybody feel about like not watching something with your significant other? I yeah, almost feel sometimes like I'm cheating. We do it all I, the time. So I always do it. Here's what happens. She won't want to watch something. So I'll go ahead and watch it. And then yeah. I'll come back to her and say, I just watched it. Yeah. it great. And she says, okay, I'll watch it if you'll watch it with me. I got to watch it a second time because of <laughs> Yeah, but how many movies, Marjorie, have I watched twice because you wouldn't watch it once? I can't remember, Alex. Oh, yeah. I'll <laughs> mind you. Boy. Yeah, no, she she always goes, Oh, that that isn't for me. 
Okay, fine. Yeah. Well, oh, that's about vampires. I don't want to have anything to do with it. Yeah. Deadly. Well, it happens to be a good vampire movie, but we'll not show it to you. And then I'll go watch it and I'll say, boy, that was the best vampire movie I ever saw. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll watch it. <laughs> what? I got to watch it again? <laughs> but I watch again with you that went on forever. Long picture. Yeah, but anyway. Has so, anybody watched The Bear? We're trying to watch The Bear and yeah. it's just not. I can't I, get it. Uh, you got to get through about yeah. the first four oh, episodes. And, and then we just. We it's just great. did five. We it's just finished got, number five. Well, it starts catching on, and, and it really gets good in season two. Uh -huh. Okay. The, the mm -hmm. best part's when oh, RFK wait. Jr. puts him in Central Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll keep going then. I was going to bail, but all right, we'll see what happens. I'm with you, Len. I don't get the bear. Who, who, yeah. just, who just left us? Paula. Paula? Yeah, she had an appointment. Oh. Yeah, she had to do. oh, okay. All right. So, anyway, so, I mean, it, uh, 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 no, the bear is, I thought bear got very good. You did. Mm -hmm. too, Marjorie. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. Marjorie, do you remember what? the bear? Yeah. They went from a little storefront to this huge yeah. thing. Oh, th thanks for the spoiler. <laughs> Wait till they cut the head off the whale. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to her. Leave it yeah. to her. She'll spoil it all the time. That's the part that's not realistic. What? They went from this two by four storefront to this huge restaurant yeah, with the kitchen and this. Did you see the, the episode that they had a whole back room where people eat and they expanded into it? And the if you watch the episode with the the female cook, mm -hmm. she's she's yeah. eating when she was she had lost her job and she was in there. It's a massive space. It's just there's the takeout part that they only showed in the first. Yeah, episode. And they just turned it into this massive restaurant, Marjorie. Right? Yeah, and mm -hmm. then in the basements where they where the Democrats are eating the babies, and the guy comes with the with, with the gun. Yeah, where are they eating the cats? <laughs> no, that's just crazy. Well, that's stuff. just down in Haiti. Come on. Yeah. The, the, the Springfield Haitian Hot Dog Factory, they're delicious. <laughs> Being from Ohio, yeah. I can vouch for it. Did you have your hand raised, Jeff? Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> Pam and I have been watching the Yankees. That's yeah. probably the most that, you know, here. What, well, who stars in that? Yeah. <laughs> the, the Confederates. About nine different guys. Yeah. <laughs> Big the cast. Yeah. He's talking Jeff, what are you watching? The Yankees. The Yankees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be the final. So, you, you think sure. they might, you think they might take it this year? They're right now. They got the chance today. See what they do tonight. Really? Yeah. We were watching. Uh, what was oh, we 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 watched uh, uh, the uh, Bad Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Harvey Keitel. Has anybody seen the Bad Lieutenant? Oh yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. It's the most depressing hour and a half I've ever watched. Oh, it is. It's, it's incredible. Am I right? The, the guy can't uh, can't get anything right in his life. He's a bad yeah. lieutenant. To me, that's comedic. That's the name. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, it, of course, uh, Marjorie was happy because she got to see Harvey Keitel penis. Yeah. Out in the open. <laughs> What were we gonna say, uh, Charlie? And I just said, "Oh boy, <laughs> what a recommendation!" <laughs> boy, am I thirsty today? Mm. Mm. Boy, it's been hot here. We've got like five days at hundred degrees. What? In October? Just yeah. Well, yeah. you're in the you're in the valley, right? Yeah, but did you oh. watch the 49ers game? I'm sure you did, Alice. Because yeah, know it was. Cold. It was 95 degrees, 100 and something on the field. Wait a minute. Who, yeah. Who are you asking if they watch the 40? You, you. You're the, you're the sports Emmy You're guy. the San Francisco oh. sports guy. <laughs> who has the Emmy? That's George. Alex has got a sports Emmy. I saw it in his apartment. <laughs> I have an Emmy for sports. Mm. Nice. <laughs> 
but it was a hundred. Did you see all the, the all the seats on the sunny side were empty? And I just yeah. saw a video. Everybody was in the concourse watching it on TV because yeah. <laughs> it was too. Hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know that's. Uh, I've never been. Have I? Ever, I've never been to a football game in my life. Really? Wow. Except in high school. I went to high school. You're lost, Alex. What? You're lost. It's fun. It's lot. expensive now. It's ridiculous, you know, but it's fun. Yeah. How much does it cost to go to a football game? Well, our tickets were two fifty each, I think, and then parking, and then food. Food was one hundred and fifty bucks. So yeah, yeah. it's a six or seven hundred dollar day. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. To see a yeah. bunch of guys running around on grass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're chasing a the pointy no ball. There's no grass anymore. It's it's astroturf. Well, I wonder yeah. how I wonder how expensive it was when I was growing up. I I I, I really oh, two don't. Bucks. Know. Huh? Two bucks. Two bucks. Yeah, <laughs> Keysar is probably where they were playing, right? Back then. Yeah. Well, but Keysar Stadium was really uh, a not a major league park, was it? Who played? I think I think, I think that's where they started, isn't it? Yeah. With the Forty ers yeah, yeah. And where, then they went to uh, then they went to Candlestick. Where was Keysar? Was that the stadium in Golden Gate Park? Right, right yeah. on Stanion Street, Stanion and Hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think is it still there? I think it is. They've made it a high school uh, prep uh, track and field, and it's really nice. Oh, it's really? Modernized, and they took down the old one, but a lot yeah, of high schools use that facility. Do they still call it Keysar? That's a good question. I'm pretty sure they do. I think so, yeah. I yeah. think so. Wasn't that the stadium that was in Dirty Harry? Yes. Or yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good call, Charlie. That's yeah. such a great movie to watch because it shows you the city in the 60s. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah I love that movie. But it also yeah. ends where I used to have dinner. That's oh, right. Okay. The, Larkspur. There was the well, it was Larkspur, and it was this um, brick. Was it a brick? Uh, uh, um, uh, Remillard? Huh? Was it called Remillard? I don't. I think so. Yes, but what it, it was a tall brick stack. There was tall brick stick, a big smokestack. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. At the bottom oh. of the smokestack, stack, <laughs> step, stack was the uh, was the restaurant. Right. It and still the restaurant went around in a circle, and it was it was a good restaurant, and it went out of business. But oh. and Alex, football tickets in the nineteen twenties were between twenty five cents and a few dollars, depending on the seat. Twenty five cents. Can you imagine? Seriously? Wow. My great uncle owned the Cleveland Bulldogs. But twenty twenty five cents back then was uh, worth uh, two hundred and fifty dollars today. <laughs> I've got a I've got a picture of the trophy with his name on it from 1924, 100 years ago when they won the national championships. Who who was that? My great uncle Samuel Deutsch. Really? He owned the Cleveland Bulldogs and was an owner of the Cleveland um, Spiders, the baseball team before the Indians. Really? He bought the football team. He combined the Akron and the Cleveland team and spent a good three thousand dollars. And after they won the championship, he sold it for four. <laughs> Four what dollars? Thousand thousand dollars. Oh, four four, four yeah. thousand dollars. Yeah, he sold the football team. I could have bought, yeah. bought a football team back then for four thousand dollars. Yeah, he if he would have sold it to you, I don't know. Did you know? <laughs> you were, I mean, when you got did you ever hang out back in the nineteen twenty four? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> four thousand dollars. Gee, yeah. mighty. Yeah. Just look, go go on the Football Hall of Fame website and you'll see that, that I'm not making it up. How much does a football team cost today? $5. A couple hundred million. Billion. Cowboys are, are rated at $10 billion. Yes. And? $10 billion. Wow. How much are the Indians? Yeah, you can go to play Cowboys. I bet when Indians, Mark Cuban yeah, better... bought the, uh, the, what's the team he's got? The Dallas yeah. Mavericks. Mavericks. Uh, he only paid a couple of a uh, couple hundred million for it or something yeah. like that. What? How much is worth today? Billions. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mavericks. Wow. Well, Mavericks. That, that that's uh, that's something to think about. A lot of money and making things bounce. Y yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
Let me see uh, anything else that's pissing me off. Uh, let me see here. anything pissing. You mean me? besides besides me? Huh? Today I'm, really, I'm feeling really tired today. I don't know why? Oh, bless you. Thank you. And mm -hmm. Marjorie, of course, is sneezing, uh, but I'm just tired. I'm just uh, you know I'm trying to drink like, some coffee here. Mm -hmm. Well, allergies are really eating my lungs now. I mean, October's worse. Here really? Yeah, yeah. It's not as bad here. Here. Oh, it's, I'm sneezing all the time, Alex. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. It could be something else. I don't know. Thank God for Claritin D. <laughs> that, does that do it for you? Sort of. I mean, it gives me some relief. Yeah, yeah. But well, what happens with uh, with pollen is it also does one other thing: makes you tired. Yeah, you're talking about being tired. That's what reminded me. I think that's the reason I'm probably tired today. And then tomorrow I have my physical therapy. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> I don't find it that much fun, and I don't think it's helping. Well, you don't know because you haven't gone out to walk. That has nothing to do with my physical. Yes, it therapy. does. You know it doesn't, Marjorie. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. He's almighty. She I'm fighting me. mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> and, and next and next week on the Bickersons. No, but anyway, I gotta go to PT tomorrow. And uh it it I don't know it's it seems like it's three hours long, but it's only 45 minutes. So yeah, you know, uh, they, they had me working out and they had, and then they had me go home and do exactly the same thing. Oh yeah. Um, well, they they do other things with me there as well, so I have to admit. Tell them how you lie on that report on the computer. I don't lie on the report. <laughs> no, every night I do every one of my exercises, and then I put put it on the thing so they can see that I did them. I have never lied on a single one of them. Where you didn't do it, and then you say you did it. And, and no, I have That's never. Happened. I have never done that. You told me you did. I didn't though. You did. I really didn't. I have been you very did. honest about it. I have this thing I have to fill out, right? I go online and then they look at it and they see if I've been doing all my exercises. And I could lie about it, but I haven't lied about it. I might lie about it today, but you know. <laughs> Every day I say I'm going to lie about it and then I don't. So that's where she probably gets the mistaken idea. But you don't walk. Of course I don't walk. I can't. Okay. And uh, now we're going to Paris. Yeah. How are you going to do that? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to sit in the hotel all the time. Yeah. Well, I don't want to sit in the hotel all the time. Driver. A driver? Yeah. yeah. Where a driver's going to take us someplace and they're going to wait for us, right? Well, we'll you, go to Versailles can, one day. We'll get you can set that up. Yeah. Go to Versailles, go to the Louvre, go to the Eiffel Tower, yeah. Yeah, and then can we have the guy pick us up? Sure. Yeah, get I, an Uber. Uber, yeah. Yeah. I'm planning on taking Uber when I'm over there. I looked it up. It's, it's going to be great. Yeah. It, can I, does it have to be Uber? Can it be uh, Lyft? I don't know if Lyft is there or not. I don't know. I have to check that out. Lyft is better to its employees, to the drivers. Yeah. Uber. We never use Uber for that very reason. Because of that. Um, ask any driver which one they like better, and they will tell you, well, they like Lyft better, but they probably get more business out of Uber. Okay. But they like Lyft better because Lyft is very good to their people, you know. Uh, and uh, to me, how a company treats their people is very important to me. Always has been. I agree. You know, yeah. I don't like. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta go. Have a great week, guys. Oh, okay. Bye. Right. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 One minute. He's got one minute left. He can't stand it. He's got to go. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, Uber is a, like Uber is, as a generic. You know. It, it is a generic. You no, know, I, no, I mean, no. I was using it as a generic. Oh, I just, see. Okay. So you know, because I personally in New York City use the curb app, which is New York city taxis, yeah. that you can use them. Cause I, I like them. Cause um, for me, it's just, it's easy to see that it's a taxi. Well, yeah. The, the, trouble, than, the, trouble, the trouble with using the taxis is sometime they're cheaper. 
Okay. Yeah. But if traffic is bad, they can be more expensive. Absolutely. Yeah. With Absolutely. Lyft and Uber, yeah. you pay them a flat price, whether the right. traffic is up or down or whatever. Right. So I've, I, for instance, from here to somewhere else, because we live in Harlem, mm -hmm. I use Lyft mainly because they're always available and uh, they don't mind work in Harlem. Okay. Uh, but um, uh, I do, I do, I can use Uber if I want to, but I just don't. I like Lyft. I just like what they do. But coming, there'll, there'll, coming there'll be something back, like that in Paris. You coming know? back when I'm midtown, I will hail a cab. Okay. If there's one available. In right. Cases, that's, they are, Marjorie. That's the trick, yeah. Especially these days with all the things like Uber and Lyft available, you, the cabs are far more available than they used to be. But then sometimes you're sitting there waiting, you're trying to hail down a cab and you can't get a cab and there are no cabs. So you go in and you, you call for a lift and the minute you push submit or whatever, Confirmed. all of a sudden they're like seven cabs. <laughs> right. yeah, it's very I, I, Never I, I swear they're, they're time to your app. Yes. All right. Yeah. So. Good. Hey, listen, time to go. Time to say goodbye. Time to uh, au revoir. What day of the week are we going on vacation, Marjorie? We're leaving on the 7th of November. Which is what? Thursday. A Thursday, Thursday, yeah. And we'll be back on uh, like a Wednesday, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. We're going to miss a Monday? Oh. Maybe not. Maybe from Paris. Yeah, because we could, I probably could try it from Paris. I'll bring my iPad with me. We could try it from Paris. Uh, and I, it, it'd be 10 o'clock at night. I'll still kind of be awake. I will. Yeah, that, that well, you will be awake because I'm going to have to do it from the hotel room. So there. <laughs> You're going to let these people down? Hmm. They used to have a conference room downstairs. <laughs> No, I don't want to do it in the conference room downstairs. I want to do it from our hotel room. He's almighty. I think you should do it from a boat on the Seine. Come on, Bastard. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> do it right. right. That sounds good. I'll yeah, take I, don't think they, I don't think they have Wi-Fi there. That's the problem. Well, when we go, we're taking a river cruise, and I'll, on a Monday, I'll be out there. So ex expect to hear from me on a on a boat. Oh, hey, look, what? Watch this. Watch this. This is it's the end of our show. Yeah. Who do you think just called? Oh no! Don. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> He's a cow. Classic. Don Classic. There he is. Oh, but... folks. <laughs> <laughs> It's Edward Burka. Burger. Oh, Burger Cow. Huh? A, a cow burger. A hamburger. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Where did oh, he go? Oh, we lost him. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um, okay. That was, funny. <laughs> that was Don Geller's uh, uh, Edward Burger impression. That's his other hamburger. Yeah. Anyway, thanks to Charlene for being here. Thank you, Charlene. We haven't even talked to you today. I'm here. Oh, I know you are. Uh, uh, Charlie, thank you very much. Uh, John Ewing, always nice to have you here, John. Len, great to have you here. Francine Witt, Marjorie, Vernon Nunn, Jeffrey Stein, Andrew mm -hmm. Deutsch. Who else do we have? Paula. Oh, we Paula. Paula left. And uh, Andrew. Where's Darla? <laughs> yeah, Andrew. She wasn't here. Where, where is Mandy today? You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's just people are getting to hate me. Anyway, uh, that's well, you're it. Jewish. You're Jewish. Yeah, right? That's it. I and, right. and here is Edward Berger to sign us off by saying, that's all, folks. <laughs> that's okay. good. That's good. Bye. So, oh, yeah. Thank you. Have a good week.